Good afternoon all. I'm Murthy Chapati, based out of Sydney, Australia. I'm part of the Partner Solution Architectures team, supporting Cognizant and Contina in ANZ region. I've been working at Amazon for nearly 15 months. Welcome to my backyard down under. And I would like to share this story with you all. Australia is one of the largest countries on earth. Most Australian cities are located on the coast. Current population is uh, around 25 million and nearly 10 million people live in Sydney and Melbourne combined. I live in Sydney, which is capital of New South Wales. Sydney is blessed with dozens of stunning beaches. I'm delighted to share with you all some pictures of my backyard, which is my pride and joy. Because of the natural slope of the land, our backyard is designed in two levels with a grass paving pattern in the middle. There are hedge plants next to the fence. It's like a rectangular block. I maintain my lawn and hedges, as you see, I take pride in demonstrating my hedge trimming skills. Uh, it took a while for me to I learned the art of changing the trimmer wire. It's not easy, I can tell you. It's always a joy to see the freshly cut lawn and neatly trimmed hedges. I do share my gardening pics on social media once in a while. My backyard has got uh, two types of grass, softleaf uh, buffalo and mondo grass. Softleaf buffalo grasses are the most uh, shade tolerant lawn types in Australia. So uh, broadleaf uh, helps capture more sunlight. So they always look green and healthy. Mondo grass is a grass-like plant. I feel a sense of well-being in my backyard garden. My citrus trees, Tahiti and lime, and Washington naval orange provide a bounty of fruit packed with much needed vitamin C. Although my orange tree attracts a lot of uh, unwanted pests, I invest my team and effort in uh, its upkeep and the results are priceless. Crepe myrtle is one of the best summer flowering trees. It has beautiful crepe, paper texture flowers that appear throughout summer. They come in a variety of colors, white, pink, and red. The pink and purple crepe metal adds beauty to my garden, and every summer it is very inviting. An Australian garden is incomplete without native trees. These trees are uh, uh, lily pili, and there are around 60 different species of lily pili in Australia. The two varieties I have in my garden produce red purple berries, which are edible, but we mostly let the, the birds have them. They're very uh, tasty though. Gardenias are an outstanding flowering shrub. They are evergreen with creamy white fragrant flowers. They flower usually from late spring to early summer through until autumn. In summer, we enjoy the balmy afternoon air filled with the fragrance of gardenias while having a cup of tea. These beautiful red rose-like flowers are camellias, and the one I have in my backyard is called Camellia japonica. They adorn my garden from winter to spring. They are sensitive, but uh, yeah, it's very uh, easy to maintain. So they bloom in large numbers too. We like to have the cut flowers and the vases. Uh, the other seasonal shrubs I have is the, the clivias. They are very hardy, shade-loving plant requiring very little maintenance. The flower from late winter to early spring, as you see, the reddish orange flowers are a visual delight to any garden. They can be grown in individual pots. The snake-like snake -like plant is Zanzivira, which is also locally called uh, mother-in-law's tongue. And I'm not sure why it's called <laughs> mother-in-law's tongue. I can only tell you my mother-in-law is very nice and sweet <laughs> person. Yeah, it's super easy to propagate, grow and maintain and adds a de designer touch to any landscape. This beautiful Indonesian style wooden swing adds an elegant touch to my backyard. My children spent many summers eating icing, eating icy pops on the swing. Hence it is forever part of our family's cherished memories. Once in a couple of years, I just need to uh, just apply the fresh stain, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty good. Locally called blueies, these Australian blue tongue lizards are found quite commonly in suburban garden. The large lizard wandered into my backyard one summer afternoon and caused panic with its snake-like looks. Yeah, just my heartbeat skipped. Only after a caring family of snake catchers took it away, we knew that it's not poisonous. These rainbow lorikeets are privileged visitors to my backyard. It's a species of parrot found in Australia. We pamper them with uh, grain bread, which they love to eat. We feel blessed to have such beautiful native flora and fauna around us and enjoy giving back to nature. 
their beautiful birds. While lorikeets are pampered birds, we also enjoy inviting other local birds, such as crested pigeon, into our backyard. They have conspicuous thin black crest, as you see. The one without the crest uh, are called uh, the spotted douse. They're basically not uh, from Australia. They were introduced uh, to, into Australia in mid 1800s. Once in a while, we do get hailstorms. We have, but we have never seen like this one, which hailstorms like uh, hailstones as big as table tennis balls. The storm inflicted considerable damage to our backyard pergola. Nevertheless, it was a great experience to watch. Yeah, it was a scary moment, and uh, yeah, it was yeah not <laughs> good one. So both my boys grew up uh, playing backyard cricket. Often the tennis balls they used to play cricket end up in neighbors' backyards, which are returned sooner or later. Uh, yeah, uh, I see that it's a way of keeping in touch with the neighbors. I keep buying the used balls. A trampoline has always been part of our backyard since our boys were little. Starting for, with the enclosed and padded trampoline, my boys have graduated to a large open trampoline, which allows them to freely jump, backflip, or whatever they need to do to get that energy out. It helps them have a good night's sleep. To top it off, a basketball hoop has joined the list of our backyard equipment. It is always a favorite when our boys have their friends over on the weekends or holidays. They also play soccer sometimes. The tiled area helps them practice uh, cricket with uh, uh, hard cricket balls. And uh, yes, uh, kids enjoy the, uh, the tiled area and the backyard as well. Summer is synonymous with uh, water sport. My kids enjoy playing in the backyard after a hot day. It helps them to cool down a bit. We go to the beach on uh, the weekends, but other days boys compensate with the water gun play on uh, hot days. It's, uh, yeah, so it's keeps them cool. Yeah, since COVID-19 and the work from home situation, I have started going for regular walks in the reserve close to my home. It helps me getting away from the screen and helps with required physical activity. Yeah, that's all for now. I hope uh, you have enjoyed my story. Uh, yeah, that's my Pachakucha and you all have a nice day. Thank you.